Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna Mae. I'm really struggling with the lighting today so I'm hoping it stays okay for the duration of this video. Um, I have all sorts of lights and lamps happening right now because there is no daylight because it is Ireland in February. So today I'm going to be walking through showing you all of my needlepoint cushions or pillows depending on what you say as well as all the things that I've done that have been framed um, as, as well as like stuff that will be framed or finished into a cushion. So uh, first of all I will say I refer to them as cushions not pillows. Uh, that was something they I did home ec in school for a couple of years. Uh, that was something they were very strict about. I think it's I've discussed this with other people before. Um, it is I think it's a European thing. Uh, pillows are what you put your head on in bed everything else is a cushion, all decorative things are cushions, not pillows. And that was something like I would have actually been graded down for if we referred to our cushion that we were, because we had to make one like embroidered or whatever, as a pillow. It was incorrect. So it's just the language I've been trained into using and that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to walk through everything. I think I'm going to do the framed things first and this video was originally going to be everything I've ever stitched, but that was going to be way too long because I started to collect all the random items from around the house and I realized I have stitched so 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 much. So this is actually probably going to be the shorter of the two videos, the following video, so subscribe to my channel to see that when that goes up, that will be all the ornaments, hanging signs and small items like zipper pouches, I have a headband here, all that sort of stuff. But this is the larger stuff. Like what will be the same in the other video, it's almost all needlepoint, just a couple little bits of cross stitch peppered in. So let's jump right in with the first thing. I do want to also briefly mention that my hair looks really stringy because I accidentally got too much oil in it because I straightened my usually wavy hair. So let's move past that now. And we're gonna move on to the first item, which is actually cross stitch. As I said, there's a couple cross stitch pieces peppered in here and this I wanted to show because this was the first thing I stitched when I started to really get back into it. I had always, well, I'll talk about that another time, but I had always been very crafty. I loved to do things of this nature um, but this I did in like October, November 2019 and um, it was a very easy kit that I purchased and it was kind of a decoy for um, another project that I'll show later on I was kind of working on a cross stitch and it was a way of hiding something in plain sight so this was actually a decoy project as you can see it is in a glass frame I need to iron it or do something it should be color fast because it's just cotton so I'm going to do that but it's it's cute it's a bit more it's very like traditional English countryside which is not really my vibe but I have it um, this one is needlepoint and finished quite badly. So you'll see some of the stuff, I'll admit, is finished terribly and some of it is great. Um, because, again, like, I'll do, I'll answer a question. Look at this stringy hair. Oh. Um, needlepoint type questions another time. But I do a lot of my own finishing for a couple of different reasons. Uh, the biggest being that I live in Ireland and I'm not made of money. So, um, this you can see is framed it doesn't have glass in it and this is a canvas from unwind studio this is just in a very cheap frame um and i think i'm actually going to switch out this artwork even though i love love this um i just wish there was a way i could finish it nicer but this is actually above my bed and it looks really good on camera but it's very lumpy and bumpy like it needs to be held really taut and finished properly so i will probably get to doing that in the next couple of weeks because I've had this for like two years. This was also one of the first things I stitched but I absolutely love it and it's stitched in wool because I love to stitch in wool. I think this is the last thing I have framed and there's also a bit of a situation with this. So uh, some of the stuff I've gifted to other people, uh, this, some of the stuff is like for my family and this one's for my mom. She was having something else framed, she brought it to a framer. I explained to her how this was supposed to be framed and how it should generally look, gave her some examples to show the framer. I'm not sure if he quite understood. Um, he's an artist himself so he's and he's an amazing framer but I think this was so far from what he's usually doing 
Um, so this is why you never see the finished version of this on my Instagram, despite this being one of my favorite designs, but it is this really pretty lemons canvas. But as you can see, there is a, oh, you can't really see, there's a ton of visible canvas. <laughs> I was like, it was blocked to the best of my abilities, but it wasn't perfect. But my instructions were kind of like, just do your best. You know, it's okay if it covers half a stitch. You know, it, it is blocked pretty well. It's okay if it covers a little bit of the stitching. Um, but he was like, no. <laughs> and left a good half inch of canvas visible around the edges. So that's why it's not ever on my Instagram, even though it is lovely and from a distance, it still looks really nice um, and it hangs in our kitchen, but yeah, it's kind of unfortunate and I do somewhat regret not finishing it as a little hanging sign, but then it also wouldn't be great for being in a kitchen. So you win some, you lose some. I also want to apologize for the absolute mess behind me and um, beside me. Uh, usually I have a board with needlepoint ornaments, but they've all been put away and my entire room is an, a huge mess. And anywhere nice to film is like a dungeon because the sunlight issue. So this, this is obviously cross stitch, uh, not needlepoint, but should be included, I think, because it is like needlework. Um, and there were so many shades of beige in this. It was awful, um, but it's very cute. My mom loves teddy bears, uh, so I'm always kind of on the lookout for teddy bear canvases. But this, I found this is cross stitch and I did this for her for Christmas 2019. So it was because I was wanting to get into needlepoint, but I was like, I can't get those things right now. It's taking a while for things to be delivered, blah, blah, blah. And I was able to get this and I was like, let me just, you know, dabble in needle craft <laughs> and see if I like it because needlepoint is that much more expensive than um, cross stitch. So this was actually a cushion that we had, a, like an existing cushion, and this is just on like an applique. Um, and my mom helped me to do that, but it was because the original cushion, it was stitched into a cushion because it was a kit. It came and this was just like a panel. So you had to like stitch inside the cushion, like inside the zip the whole time, awful. And then a million shades of beige, awful. Now it looks beautiful now, but a bit stressy, um, but it, it looks good and it's cute and whatever. So, so this cushion is one of my more recent finishes. There's a little sliver of visible canvas here, which is very obvious because it's dark navy and dark navy, um, and but it's because the cushion is so plump. Um, this is one of my slightly better finishes, like kind of getting into the hang of things. This design is from Unwind Studio. They have some really, really nice stuff and it's printed, it's affordable, it's in Europe. So this is where I always direct people who are outside of the US who really want to get into like tapestry or needlepoint. Um, this is one of them and I'll show the other airmen later. But I love this, I love the really bold colors in this. Uh, this is also stitched in wool, which I love. I got a nice heavier weight um, navy fabric. Is it a twill? I think it's a navy twill. Um, and then the piping cord is a great bright orange match because it's actually a fabric I found that was like a bleach wash kind of orange. Um, and I finished, I made the cord myself, which is not as hard as you would think. And I definitely would recommend doing it, but I'm pretty proud of like the corners and everything on this and the zip is pretty good. So I think this is definitely a win. And this is definitely one that also my mom wants to steal and put like, downstairs but precious is up here i'm realizing i should have looked up the name of the designer i will put this if i can remember i'll put these things in the description box i'll list some of the canvases that are mine and not mine or whatever um this adorable i love the colors i like having a mix of different colors and a lot of my stuff leans pink which is fitting for me but um I really love the gingham. This was just some really old gingham fabric that we have, but it's a lovely quality to it. Like it's not very thick, um, but the look of it is just something different. And then this is a velvet piping that I was able to purchase. And I think it looks really cute. And it's just so adorable and tiny. The battery just started to blink at me. So we're gonna try and move really quickly. This cushion is a design that is mine. This is a chart that's available in my shop. It says I'm nicer when I like my outfit. Um, this is stitched on, I believe, 
13 count or 14 count I'm not sure actually I think it's like 12 it's something weird um but this is actually the size of it in 18 if you were curious which isn't done but there you go um I really like this canvas but the finishing is horrendous and the fabric is way too lightweight so I'm actually probably going to refinish this and not have a border and just have it being a very small cushion um but that's it's cute I like it but not that much what's probably my best finish along with the oranges one is this one it says love that journey for you it's penny lynn designs and then the fabric is liberty just look at those ruffles look at those ruffles beautiful and it's just so cute um and nice and plump and i started to instead of doing uh like metered corners i started to do finishing like this um and that works really really well i definitely recommend that but that's prob probably my favorite cushion at the minute um and then i am missing one oh it's here Similar on the Liberty fabric train is this one. It's Graw, it's the Irish word for love. Um, it also has Liberty fabric. This is also not a great finish. It's a bit lumpy and bumpy. Um, and then I messed up the corners. But it looks fine when it's on a bed. And I still think it's really cute. This is an honourable mention. This is a teeny tiny cushion. Um, and it's obviously Bargello. Uh, I do like Bargello. I have a couple things that I've done. And I have a great book which I will, if I remember, I'll uh, leave the name of down below. But I actually made this teeny tiny cushion for my dog's bed. Uh, she since passed away, she was very old, she was 16, and she had a mini couch, and I put this on it. And it's just filled with fabric scraps, so it was kind of plump, but I thought it was a great way to use up extra uh, fabric, or sorry, extra thread. Okay, camera died, charged for like 10 minutes while I scrolled on TikTok, and we're gonna try and roll through the rest of these really fast. There's no, only one cushion left, so not so bad then just some other stuff so i started talking about this and then i got cut off this is from ermine tapestry um this is finished by sarah barnes it's so cute this actually lives on the couch downstairs um it's like it was a gift for um my parents like for my home house kind of thing um i did put my initials in the bottom uh, which you can't really see i have better photos of this on my needlepoint instagram which is linked down below but uh, i really do like ermine tapestry kits i think it's really good it is hard to stitch on printed canvas when it's these kind of colors and stuff like that it's not as defined um i know that there's different levels of printing quality that are coming up now uh, but this is kind of the pre-existing type so i would still by Airman Tapestry in a heartbeat because the price point is really really good and it's complicated to ship like depending on where you are to ship but I have friends in the UK so I just ship it to them and then bring it back whenever I'm there but I really like this one and I think it's like the finishing is just it's the best probably out of all of them I just hit off a bunch of stuff um I have two other cross stitch pieces that were buried under everything um so this i'm don't have any other things that are finished in a hoop like this like cross stitch i do have a kit that i need to do though um but this obviously says no justice no peace i did this in 2020 i believe i wish i could remember off the top of my head who it was who designed this and i think it was like um it was like you purchased it but it was a donation i think it was that kind of situation um so i did that and i think it was also originally in red uh but i did this in a more neutral color and i have it hanging on my wall above my bed it's also kind of relevant in my regular kind of like career type stuff is um like everything aside from needlepoint um i have my masters in peace and development studies and i've worked um as a policy advisor and also in communications in like the international affairs area usually to do with the un so that's a fun fact so that kind of thing i really liked for lots of different reasons so this is actually half of a cross stitch project and um, that's why there's all this uh canvas to the side or fabric uh but i'm not doing the other one because it was such a head wreck because again all the shades of blue but very cute and again this was purchased when i was kind of getting back into stitching of whatever type um in late 2019 i didn't finish it like it was a whip for like 
oh well over a year I finally finished it I'll probably frame that but I'm not gonna do the second one I still have the leftover stuff but I'm not gonna do it and then the last two are one is going to be framed and the other is going to be a cushion. So the one that I'm going to turn into a cushion is this very cute canvas. I don't know. It's originally from Pocket Full of Stitches in Lubbock, Texas. I've never been to Texas, but I got this on needlepoint de-stashing. The colours, again, I think I posted this on my Instagram, like my needlepoint Instagram. The colours were originally different. I switched them around and I used a lot of fun, different um, threads to jazz it up and just have fun with it and I made it like blue and pink because for me so I'm gonna turn this into a little cushion for my bed but I think it's really cute because it's all the cushions and it'll be a cushion and then the last one is one that is from Unwind Studio again um, and it is this one this was also something I stitched earlier I think this was in the summer of 2020 I was stitching this and if you can see I used a lot of different kinds of stitches I decided to do it like in the way it was quite a lot of like color blocking I decided to designate a stitch to a color and work on it that way and then this is all she's just all basket weave um but it was really fun I'll kind of give you a close-up to experiment with stitches but what I didn't know at the time was these kind of stitches and different more creative stitches if you're not using a frame and you're not minding your tension or whatever it is and especially when you're working on something like this size um, you're gonna warp the canvas so as you can see it is majorly out of shape I cannot for the life of me block it and that's why it has never even made it into a frame but I'm maybe going to try and frame it I'll see I think I'm a bit better at blocking now so we can try that I'm sure I've forgotten something there's actually just so much. I don't know how long the, the following video is going to be uh, with all of my other stuff, but I think it will be exciting and I'll be better set up for that one, better lighting, all of that. But I just wanted to give a little run through these because I think it's interesting. And I think there's a lot more like cross stitch type of stuff on YouTube, but maybe needlepoint mixed in is kind of fun too. So. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely follow me on Instagram at mkneedlepoint. My regular Instagram is anime by design. Follow me on either of those or on TikTok. That is my needlepoint cushion collection as of and frames uh, as of February 2023. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.